action. So we're going after the posterior bronchiomodular dry capsule. We'll take a little step to the right. The right arm is anchored to the true stretch or door frame. Uh, you're going to just kind of rotate and shift your trunk to the right and just shift your weight kind of into that right hip and that right shoulder a little bit. So we're working on just trying to disassociate that scap from that humeral head. You can kind of use your pelvis as a little driver too. Pelvis can kind of oscillate to the right a little bit, create a little bit more space in there. So for uh, for John, he's going to sink into the right, kind of the right butt a little bit, and bring this foot back up. Uh, towards me just a little bit more way. There you go. So just kind of shift. Feeling a good little stretch. Kind of the lats and the posterior capsule. Definitely. So the posterior. Uh, glenohumeral joint capsule will really limit that internal rotation, kind of on uh, the follow through, yep. deceleration, that horizontal abduction, and I feel some of that extension and stuff like that too that you're ultimately um, kind of driving. Good, and so John's just kind of rotating, shifting his weight and hip uh, in th to the right hip, and then just kind of rotating to the left a little bit as he does it. Kind of get the back of that um, shoulder joint capsule. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's good.